this is a, a series of licks just put together. Um, I'm going to do them in G major slash E minor or whatever the corresponding modes are. Um, it kind of corresponds to a backing track that a student brought to a lesson, so it kind of ties in with something he's doing. Um, hopefully, you'll watch it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a scale. I'm going to take basically what I think of as being the G major E minor scale, although there's no E in it. So what I've got here is F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. So it's two, three, five, two, three, five. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it an octave up. It's exactly the same fingering, so I'm going to get four, five, seven, four, five, seven, and then move that an octave up, which is going to be seven, eight, ten, seven, eight. First thing is to get used to moving that in little groups. Okay, so that's first thing. The next thing I do is I can because I'm miss I'm basically I'm playing six notes here, and I'm, and a, the scale will probably have seven in it. So in order to just facilitate that extra note, uh, I'm going to move up to the next position, which is going to give me. Three, five, seven, three, five, seven. So it's five, seven, nine. And then eight, ten, twelve. Now, what I can do is I can combine the two bits together. scale now it was the original idea that I came up with this kind of stuff um, was over the top of a backing track that a student bought me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that backing track on now um, and see how you think it works see those licks kind of work over the top. Those kind of ideas. And the second set of ideas that I came up with them for them to have a go at um, was basically saying, okay, well what notes was I, were I, was I using here? Were I using, was I, not terrible English. And the notes that I was using was uh, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D and E. We said, okay, well, what happens if we just take them in two, two note ideas? E and D. D and C. C and B. B and A. G and A. F sharp and G. A and E. Put them as little trills with each other. So if you put that with the back in. Which kind of gives you an easy in to sounding quite shreddy. Now, if you want, if you can do like we were doing here, three notes. Well, we can take exactly the same idea and put three notes together here. So exactly the same notes as before, but now three of them. Should we put that together and see what occurs? Little 
got some licks. And that's just putting those. And that's just playing on one string. So hopefully that gives you uh, a couple of ideas so you can move across the neck diagonally using these kind of shapes. And you can move up and down on one string doing these. You can expand this then as far as you want to go with it. Five minutes for you to have some fun in. <laughs> 